were Tex-Mex and um, the significance of the name Tex-Mex is uh, it, Tex-Mex is the region of the world where fajitas were first made and when you hear Tex-Mex you kind of just think like Mexico, like Mexican food. So our position, what key concept does Tex-Mex represent? We want people to eat authentic, authentic Mexican style food. While if you try to get Mexican food today, Taco Bell is mostly Americanized, and a lot of things are really Americanized. You really have to go to a restaurant to really find authentic Mexican food. We want to sell fresh and healthy foods to our customers. So in our product, we have real chicken, green pepper, and onion. Nothing that's really a lot of preservatives in it, so it's really fresh and healthy. Uh, we want to also sell easy to make and quick meals that taste good. So something that you won't have to spend a lot of time with, that you have to prepare yourself, because then the product idea would be kind of worthless because you have to go buy everything. So our product, you can just kind of, it's really quick and easy. What makes us different is that we are authentic Mexican food, we're real and everything, and we want people to really experience real Mexican food. And uh, like you can buy them in bulk, and then like you can keep them in your fridge. Like if your kid has to go to school, you just hand them one of those. It's easy to make, and it's good for you. It's healthy and everything. So what does Tex-Mex look, looks and, uh, look and feel like? Tex-Mex looks and feel like authentic Mexican food. So uh, in Mexico, how it, uh, the food is served separately because if you were to add some things, it make the tortilla soggy. So the way it's packaged is each individual thing is packaged separately, just like how uh, you, you are served Mexican food as if you were in Mexico. Everything is cooked the way Mexicans cook. It's really how everything is just made. As so if you were to eat our product, you go to Mexico, you'd see a really good comparison. Our target market are college students at the University of Columbia and busy mothers with uh, students at elementary school. We feel that these are both good, uh, good target markets because they both have the same thing in common. They need like, like easy to make, uh, fast, on, like on the go food for themselves. Um, the implementation is uh, we want to introduce our product at uh, Cinco de Mayo, the festival in um, Colombia. And we would like you, Casey's General Store, to buy 800 boxes of our fajitas, 200 for each of your stores. So our retail price is 520. So that's with all the dividing. So for you, you would be making a profit off that just by that. While if you were to go and buy everything separately just to make it, it'd be around 799. Uh, usually you would have to buy, so for the guacamole in it, you would have to buy a whole avocado. Avocados are actually pretty expensive these days, and so are the, the green bell peppers. So for you, so it'd be making a great profit, while well, like a lot of the meals you would buy are actually like around like six bucks. So our product is still that great uh, taste, and, but it still has also a great price. Thank you, that's it. So talk to me a little bit about is Tex-Mex like a style or is it a specific fajita product? Specific. Okay. Um, how do you know that Americans want this? How do you know that Americans want authentic Mexican food? Because you do not go to Mexico to eat um, Americanized Mexican food. You go to Mexico to eat Mexican food and experience Mexico. Okay. And then talk to me about why is Casey's the right spot to deliver this this product? Because there's like more than one, so we can have like several locations selling at one location. Like, yeah. Okay, but why Casey's instead of like a grocery store or? Casey's is more like a um, a quick convenience store, and that's what our product is about. Okay. Why do you think that selling this product uh, packaged in a box is better than serving it to a new fresh? Well, because, well, what do you mean by serving it to you? Like in a restaurant. Like in a restaurant? Why, why not start a restaurant that's got this entire flavor mm -hmm. and 
concept behind it. Because we really want to focus on the idea of like a quick and easy meal. Like, uh, so like we're we're thinking like after, we'll call it like what just college students need. Like they could go they could go sit down at the restaurant, but what most likely they would do is go get a really quick easy meal that they could just really cook up really quickly. Okay, and then I'm gonna sell it for five twenty in my store. Mm -hmm. How much am I buying it from you from? For you're buying it from us from? How, what am I paying you to get it? Uh, dollar eighty five. So I buy it from you for a dollar eighty five. Yeah. And then sell it for five twenty. Yep. Well, how much does it cost you to make it? I, oh, it costs a dollar eighty five. So. So you're not making any money when you sell it to me? No. Hold on. Oh, so for the distributor. Like three twenty five. Mm -hmm. It's three twenty five. Yeah. Okay. So you make it for dollar eighty five. Mm -hmm. You sell it to me for three twenty five. Yeah. And I sell it for five twenty. Yeah. Um, how many do you want me to buy? A uh, two hundred for each store, so eight hundred in total. Uh, how often? Um, every two weeks. Okay. How do you know I'm going to sell two hundred each store every two weeks? Um. Well, the population in Columbia is over a hundred thousand, and um. It's cheap, and we think it'll be very successful. Okay. All right. Good job, guys. Thanks.